Hi, I'm Bhavesh Tavta from the office of the CTO at VMware. I'm here today with Adit Randiwe, who's been interning with us this summer of 2012. He's been working on an advanced development project in the office of the CTO, and he's here to talk to us about what he's been working on. Uh, he joins us from Georgia Tech, where he's a fourth year PhD student, yeah. and we'll find out mm -hmm. more about what he's doing there as well. So welcome, Adit. Thank you. Uh, first, first off, tell, tell us a little bit more about yourself, what you've been working on in Georgia Tech and what brings you here. Sure. Um, I'm a fourth year PhD student in Georgia Tech in the School of Computer Science. Uh, my main uh, focus of research is on operating systems and virtualization, and specifically on uh, providing resource management for virtualized HPC applications. And we're looking at uh, applications that use InfiniBand as their interconnect and how we can actually you know, uh, regulate these resources so that applications get their required service level. That sounds perfect and that sounds very related to the internship project we had you doing here yes. this summer. So tell us a little bit more about uh, what you're working here, uh, here during the internship. Uh, so thanks for us giving me the opportunity to, you know, to work here in the office of CTO. You're welcome. Uh, the, the project that I'm working on is called Virtual RDMA or Virtual uh, Remote Direct Memory Access. And that uh, the project itself provides uh, you know, guests like a, a para-virtualized RDMA driver to use so that uh, you know, guests can actually use an InfiniBand interconnect or any other interconnects that support RDMA. And uh, <coughs> the point is that uh, we want guests to you know, give the ability to, to do RDMA so that you know other applications that, like, for example, HPC or you know, like big data applications can actually uh, can use that uh, the interconnect or use the guest drivers that we have. I see. So you mentioned HPC and big data. Uh, can you uh, mention a few more applications which rely on RDMA? Right. So uh, because RDMA gives the capabilities of low latency and high throughput, there is a different categories of applications that we can use. So that uh, you know, which actually leverage the RDMA capability. So, for example, uh, there is also the financial uh, applications that use uh, InfiniBand because they have support low latency, or they need require low latency. And there are also like databases like uh, IBM PureScale that use RDMA because uh, they need. I mean, they need to have high throughput as well. I see high throughput, low latency, right. mm -hmm. with uh, some of the benefits like. Uh, zero copy or CPU offloads as Yes, well. that's correct. Right, excellent. So can you tell us a little bit more about the approach you took for implementing this? Sure. Uh, so since we're developing para virtualized driver, we are looking at sort of three different levels in the, I guess, in the virtualization stack that we are implementing uh, this on. So if the first is uh, in the VM kernel itself, we are making a VM kernel VRDMA module that controls all the guest devices and provides them a virtual RDMA uh, device. Uh, the second uh, level is obviously in the guest OS where we provide a VRDMA driver, a guest kernel driver, that gives an application a particular RDMA API. And that RDMA API is called the Verbs interface. And that Verbs interface is now industry standard. So all the applications that are programmed to use the Verbs interface can actually use our VRDMA driver. I see. And we also have a user level library that applications can link to to actually use our uh, guest kernel driver. And uh, the, the approach that we are taking over in the VM kernel module is that the VM kernel module is responsible for multiplexing the physical device between various guests. And, uh, and if the guests are on the same host machine, the mm -hmm. VM kernel module will then actually do a mem copy between the two virtual machines' memory so that you don't have to actually go out to the physical device. I see. So are you introducing a new virtual device for virtual machines or is it is it... Uh, making use of an existing virtual device for para virtualization. So uh, right now, the VRDMA guest driver is a virtual device, but under it, it communicates with the VM kernel using the VMCI device, which is a kind of a guest for PCI device that is exposed. Uh, so we communicate with the VM kernel using the using something called VMCI datagrams, right. and uh, uh, that's so the guest VRDMA is really a kind of a virtual device built on top of the VMCI PCI device. I see. So we've presented in the past uh, other users of RDMA, uh, like passing through mm -hmm. a physical InfiniBand HCA or a Rocky HCA to virtual machines. Mm -hmm. uh, what is uh, different about this approach? Why is this approach better or uh, interesting to VMware? So uh, kind of the first uh, way that you mentioned called pass-through. Uh, one of the big adva disadvantages of pass-through is that it doesn't support vMotion. And if you'd even pass through, for example, an SRIO V virtual function, uh, if you did vMotion the guest, you still can't have uh, the guest support the SRIV virtual function again. And that kind of breaks the actual RDMA application. 
Uh, the second approach that you also mentioned called soft rocky uh, also doesn't uh, the approach that it takes is that it provides a software level driver inside the guest and uh, it multiplexes the RDMF uh, API into an actual Ethernet based API and because of that the approach is slow and get much higher latencies. Mm -hmm. uh, in our approach the advantage is that we want to support vMotion and we want to provide low, much low latencies to guests. Uh, they, they may be a little higher than the actual native uh, in the native case because all the uh, functions actually go through the VM kernel. But in our approach we want to the main goal is that we want to support vMotion so that guest, even applications that are running inside the guest can continue to run once we vMotion the guest. That is a big value proposition for uh, our virtual machines. So yes. thank you for <laughs> such a useful project. Mm -hmm. So how has this internship been for you so far? What, can you describe what uh, the experience it has been like interning with us at VMware this summer? Uh, I mean, it's been a great opportunity interning at VMware. Uh, I mean, I've got to work on the, on the low level OS uh, operating system, I mean, and, and in the VM kernel. So that's kind of the goal that I'm interested in. And uh, it's been, you, I mean, it's been challenging as well. So it's not been, uh, it's been a great opportunity to actually learn how, how everything actually works inside ESXi and try to figure out you know, how to put all of that together for the VRDMA project. And, uh, and it's just been great working here at VMware. It's been great having you here. Uh, one last question. Uh, how much of your internship project is done and what remains to be done? So as of now, most of the code is complete uh, that we have to implement. So some of the guest code is already complete, uh, but there is some underlying code that we have to implement in the VM kernel. So there are a couple of functions that we still need to implement. And uh, I mean, given that, we have to still debug the whole code as well. I see. Do you have any thoughts on the VMware internship program in general, the activities, the other activities you do during the summer? Uh, I mean, I think it, the university relations team does a great job in trying to match interns with whatever the teams that they, I mean, they have. And also the, the interns themselves got, I mean, a pretty industry standard project that it's an actual problem in the industry that they get to solve, which is really the, I guess, any point of the internship is you get to have any experience with, with an industry. Right. And I mean, that's great. So I think the, the internship program at VMware kind of you know, meets all those uh, requirements. Yeah, it readies you for the industry and you get uh, experience doing actual software development and hopefully right. you'll be able to see your code shipping to our real customers sometime yeah. soon in a, in a release near you. Thank you very much, Adit, for doing an internship with us and your contributions to VMware. Thank you so much.